Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Spoonful of Love and this is Love Laroel and yes, it's this time of the year, winter is really fast approaching, it starts to get really cold outside. So I decided to make a soup recipe for today, so it's a famous um, Vietnamese soup, it's called pho. And um, I did go with chicken instead of beef since it's um, easier to prepare. And um, a secret for um, actually good pho is how you build flavors on your broth. And in line with this, I would also make a um, side dish like a salad cucumber, but I will make a separate video for that just to balance everything. And so without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, I have here one half pound of ox feet and we will just clean this and bring it to boil for over high heat in around 15 minutes. We do this process just to get rid of the impurities like blood, fats. This is really important guys to keep the broth clear and it'll save you time to skip skimming the broth for later. So I just did added like almost one half water on the pot. So once again, we'll cook it for 15 minutes in high heat and we'll come back for this later. So meanwhile, I have here one whole chicken which is dressed and clean. Then I will just let it sit in the fridge before we use it because we'll be using it in like 20 minutes. I just wanted to keep the temperature on this since poultry is a really delicate meat. So this is basically after 15 minutes of boiling the ox fit in high heat. So we will just strain it and clean it. So I have a preheated cast iron griddle here and I am just toasting all my spices. So I have some cinnamon stick, star anise. I also added some bay leaves. So this is some coriander and some fennel seeds. So I don't have like a whole peppercorn so I just added some grated ones but it will still do the thing. So just keep um, pliffing them and check them once in a while but this doesn't really take long. So the moment you start smelling all the spices burn in, so you could tell it's almost ready. So this is actually done. I'll just start removing them and I will set them aside. So in the same griddle, I'm just going to roast my onion and my ginger too. So just like... Um, roast them until they're almost burnt that's what we're aiming for though and just set them aside along with the spices so after i rinse my ox feet i put it back on the pot again along with the chicken and we'll start cooking them in a low medium heat so meanwhile while we start cooking the broth I will put my small spices in this little spice bag so I just wanted to keep the broth clean and if you notice I actually doubled the amount of the spices I toast I just added some just to add more flavor so um, I'll be putting all the ingredients on the description box below So just put them all together in that bag. But if you don't have like spice bags, you can find any. It's totally fine though. So here's my ginger and onion so i'll just um, cut this one into two and the onion as well i'll just try to peel them a little just so it's clean
so this is actually a secret for making a good broth like roasting all the spices before you even add them this is like actually how they make their traditional fa So I also prepare some bowl of ice cold water and strainer here. We will be using this for skimming some impurities on the broth. So I'm now slowly adding in all the spices we prepare, the ginger, the onion, and the cinnamon stick. So some of you may wonder why I added some ox feet on my chicken pho. Um, I did make chicken pho before alone with just chicken and for some reason I have to explore. That's how cooking works. So when I added ox feet, it just it adds more flavor to it. So I really want you guys to try this. Okay, we'll cook this covered for 30 minutes basically this is 30 minutes after we'll just start skimming it we just wanted to keep the broth clean as much as we could and i'll just leave this one uncovered and now this is an hour after So I'm just cooking this in a low medium heat. So this is total an hour and a half of the cooking process. My chicken is done and tender, so I'm just trying to take it off the pot and set it aside. Okay, so we'll let it cool down and I'll try to scrape whatever meat I can grab from this chicken. Meanwhile, we could start um, cleaning our broth. So this time, I will be checking the flavor. It's actually very flavorful now, but it needs a little bit of saltiness to it. So I'll just add in a tablespoon of fish sauce. Give it a mix and I'll taste that again. So this is actually perfect. So this bread is actually ready. So we'll just leave it boiling so we could serve that hot. And once we're ready to pour it in our noodles, then we will just strain them so that it's clear and clean. So in a boiling water, we will just cook our noodles for two to three minutes. I actually have here a pad thai bran. Um, it's a Vietnamese vermicelli noodles and you could actually find them on any Asian grocery near you. So it's done and we will just set this one aside. So 
So now we will be making our quick uh, dipping sauce for our chicken. So I have here hoisin sauce and I'm adding in like around 4 tablespoons and 1 tablespoon of sriracha. You're more than welcome to add any hot sauce you have in there. So just give it a mix. I will also be adding a not typical ingredient for your um, pot dipping sauce. I just find it interesting and it somehow adds um, flavor and kick to it. So this one, I'm adding in my homemade chili garlic oil. So this is going to be real spicy. So this is ready. Now we will just start plating everything on a bowl. First off, your noodles. You could plate it however you want it to be, guys. I'm actually making a bowl for my husband. some chicken chunks on it so I'm adding in my broth this is really a perfect comfort food especially on winter I'm also adding in some bean sprouts. Some fresh basil. So we try to skip the cilantro. I love cilantro, but my husband doesn't. He just doesn't want the smell of the cilantro on his fa. So we'll go for the basil this time. And squeeze some lemon in there. Awesome goodness in the bowl. Oh, it's smelling so good in here guys. I wish I could share it with you because I actually made a lot Can't wait to dig into this bowl So as what I mentioned earlier, I did make some cucumber salad to go with my pho. This is just to balance the acidity because I made my pho so spicy this time. And um, I'll be putting a separate video on this so you guys could watch out. So there you have it everyone, another spoonful of love for you. I know it really takes some time and effort to make a good pho, but please do give this one a try. Hit like and subscribe too if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet. And um, I will put the exact measurements in the description box below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Happy eating and thank you!